Hey guys, here is a video on ionic half equations. The important thing to remember in these equations is that you have to balance the atoms, the elements, and you have to balance the charges as well. When we are doing um, electrolysis half equations, there are two things we need to remember. We need to remember oil rig and we need to remember panic. Oil rig, oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain of electrons, panic, positive anode, negative is cathode. We are going to use these to decide whether equations are oxidation or reduction and whether they had a hit place at the anode or the cathode. Here we have copper two ions turning into copper. Now our copper is balanced, we have one on each side, but we can see on this side we have a two plus charge and on this side we have a neutral charge. So we have to make this side neutral or we have to make this side positive. However, the only thing that is ever lost or gained is electrons. So we cannot make this side positive, we have to make this side neutral. And the way we make this side neutral is adding on negative charges. So we need to add them on because it's two plus we need to make that two minus. Now we can see that we have added in electrons that is gain of electrons so this is going to be reduction. We can see that we have um, positive ions. Positive ions are going to go towards the negative electrode so this is going to happen at the cathode. Here we have fluoride ions turning into fluorine gas and the first thing I want you to notice is that there are two fluorines on this side and one fluorine on this side so the first thing we need to do is to put a two in front of there. Now we have negative charge over on the left hand side, neutral charge over on this side so what I'm going to do is to take away a negative charge but because we have two, I have to take away two negative charges. So this is like saying two negative charges minus minus two negative charges, which means plus, which means it's going to be neutral overall. Now here we are losing electrons, so this is oxidation. Fluorine is negative, so it's going to be attracted to the positive anode. Here we have a sodium ion turning into a sodium metal. Um, one sodium on each side, so that's really balanced, don't need to do anything. But I do need to add an electron on there to cancel out that positive charge. Because I am adding on an electron, this is reduction. Because sodium is positive, it is going to be attracted to the negative electrode, which is the cathode. Oxygen here turning into oxygen gas. Now oxygen gas is two, so the first thing I need to do is to put a two in front of there. And then because we now have a four minus charge on the um, left hand side, I either need to cancel that out or I need to add a four minus charge on this side, on the right hand side as well. It doesn't matter which um, place you do it in as long as it balances out. Now because this one here is the one we're interested in and these electrons are going away, they are being lost, this is still oxidation. And because oxygen is negative, it's going to be attracted to the positive electrode, so that is the anode. Here we have aluminium ions turning into aluminium um, metal. So if we have a three negative charge, we need to add on three positive charge, we need to add on some negative charges. And because it's three, we need to add three of them on. We are adding electrons, so this is reduction. And because this is positive, um, it is going to be attracted to the negatives, so that is the cathode. 